Good morning, students of class 9. You are welcome back to the online portal now. Let's continue our lesson from supplementary reader. We are doing the beggar. We are doing the last lesson from this chapter. The beggar. So that is lesson 10 from supplementary reader. So we are at the last portion, that too. So now, in our next class, we will do from the textbook. We have done up to class chapter 6, then we will continue the next, the textbook. This is supplementary reader, we are practically finished. So now, the beggar. So here, Sergi gave him work. Sergi gave Lovskov some clean work. And after two years, what happened? So let us see now. In our previous class, we have talked that, well, we have uh, learnt that when Sergi moved to another house, Sergi called Lovskov to help him pack things or shift furnitures. So at that time, Lovskov was very sad. He was quite moody. He did not talk. Even the carriage man or the cart man laughed at him, made fun of him. But still, Lovskov did not say anything. He remained quiet. He was quite sad that his master, who can say that Sergi was moving to some other house. So then Sergi, at the end, asked him if you can read and write. Lovskov said, yes, I can read and write. Then Lovskov gave him some work. He said that I'll give you a letter. You take this letter to one of my friends in the next town, another town, and there he will give you some clean work to write, to copying work, to copy some things. You will have some copying work. Are you ready to do? He said, yes, I'm ready to do this work. So after that, what happened? Sergi gave Lovskov a letter and asked him to go to one of his friends. Sergi asked him to go to one of his friends, take this letter, taking that letter which he had given him, who would give him some copying work to do. One of his, one of Sergi's friend in the next town will give Lovskov some clean work, copying work to do. So Lovskov, he was quite happy to hear that. Sergi even provided him the money to travel. Lovskov went away from then onwards. Lovskov went away and never came back again. He never came back. He went away and he must have got the job and he must have done the job. So that's why he never came back to Sergi again. Two years had passed. That event took place two years back. Two years had passed. And uh, Lovskov went away and never came back again. Two years had passed. One evening, Sergi saw him at the ticket window of a theater. At that time, there were no films, there were no cinema halls. Uh, there were halls to show dramas, theaters were very common. So one evening, when Sergi went to uh, see the theater, he also saw Loskov at the ticket counter. Sergi recognized him. Since he was an advocate, he recognized the person. So, he was well dressed. Loskov was well dressed, not like before. He was well dressed and he was buying a ticket. Loskov was buying a ticket. He also came there to watch or see the theater. Number two, four. He told Sergi. Then Sergi went, Loskov, are you Loskov? Then Laskov said, yes, oh, Sergi. So he told Sergi that he was a notary and earned 35 rubles a month. So he told Sergi, Laskov told Sergi that now I am doing the copying work, I am a notary, notary, and notary means copying work, and earns 35 rubles a month. He is earning 35 rupees a month. And at that time, 35 rupees is quite enough. Sergi was delighted. Sergi was very happy because he had been able to push a deprived beggar on the right path. Sergi was very much happy because he thought that, oh, I have done a good work. 
I pushed this man, I set him to on the right path. So he, had, he was able to push a deprived man, deprived means who has been uh, kept away from, deprived beggar on the right path. Sarji thought that I made him, I put him on the right path. So that's why Sarji was quite delighted. But Laska thanked him. Laska said, thank you Sarji very much. You have made me a man. Otherwise, without you, I would have been cheating people again. I would not have changed. So Laska thanked him for his kindness. He was very kind to help me, to put me on the right path for his kindness. Because Sarji had pulled him out of a sinking pit. Because Sarji had pulled him out from the sinking pit. Sinking pit means he would have been a, a, a beggar still without Sarji. So he said, thank you very much for your kindness because you have pulled me out from the pit, a dark future. So a dark pit. But Laska said, at the same time, Laska also said that he continued, he further said, Laska said that the true credit for changing him, the true credit for changing him went to Olga. Actually, it is because of Olga. I have changed. I have stopped drinking. I have started thinking of doing some hard work. The real credit goes to Olga. Laska said. Sarji was surprised. How is that? I gave you the work. I have changed you and put you on the right path. How come you are mentioning the name of Olga? How did Olga help you? So, this surprised Sarji. When Sarji heard the name of Olga, he was quite surprised. Laskov explained everything. Laskov explained everything what had happened two years before. Laskov explained everything that he had not chopped a single piece of wood for him. Sarji, actually I have not, I had not chopped a single piece of wood for you. Everything was done by Olga. All the wood was chopped by Olga. So Olga did it all. All kinds of work. Olga used to do it. And you are, you are, you paid me. But the actual work was done by Olga. She wept, she wept for him. Olga used to weep. Seeing my condition, Laskov said, Olga used to weep, seeing my condition. She used to scold me, she used to shout at me, she used to feel very sad about me. She wept for him, suffered for him. How much she used to suffer because of me, because of my condition. She suffered for him. He began to change after watching her sufferings and sacrifice. Slowly, Laska, I used to change, I changed myself. Seeing her suffering and sacrifice, I changed myself, the way I used to feel, the way I used to act. So she wept for him, she means Olga. Olga wept for him, for Laska, suffered for him, he began to change. He means Laska. Laska, yeah. Laska, he began to change after watching her sacrifice. Olga, she sacrificed for him. She used to do all kinds of work. She used to feel very pity for me. He could never forget her. Laska at the end said, I will never forget Olga for what she had done to me. She had really helped me to come out of this miserable life of a beggar. So, Laskov told and explained everything to Sarji and Sarji was surprised and he began to think, oh, I didn't knew anything about it. Never, Olga also never told anything about that. So, it was Olga. So, she, she, she is a very good lady. So. Sarji said, she is a very good lady, she is very kind hearted and she is very cooperative. Sarji explained and at that meantime, the bell of the theatre rang and everybody went inside. Even Sarji also went and Laskov also went and 
there was the theater and after theater they were separated and Laskov became a gentleman he became a good man so that's all for this lesson so that's all we'll meet in the next class and continue some chapters which were left from the textbook so that's all for today go through online portal properly read the chapters properly i have already explained you if you uh, paid if you have paid attention it will be very easy for you you don't have to worry about your questions and answers only thing you should know the chapter while going through the online portal you have to be very very attentive listen carefully and try to understand i'll make it very very easy while explain so that you will not find any difficulties so that's all for today we'll meet in the next class and continue our chapter from the uh, textbook that's all thank you very much for watching so attentively paying so much attention in your class so that's all for today thank you very much